Hello, hello. Let's start by taking a deep breath together. So I wanted to make this video um, to open up the space for those that are having a bit of a challenge to bring that clarity um, to your goals. I've been reading some books around like visualization. This book's called Creative Visualization. Using the power of your imagination to create what you want in your life. Um, and I've been reading it and recognizing, whoa, this is like seriously important and there's a lot to gain from this versus losing, right? Like there's not much to lose when you make a mood board. Like what, someone may call you like corny or something? Like who cares? It's not their life. It's yours. So I wanted to share what I've been doing and maybe you could take some inspiration, help you out for like gaining clarity with your goals. So you'll see, I've been honestly making a few of these SL wallpapers a few months ago. And now I'm kind of like moving into a bit more of a format that has a bit more of like a why, you know, there is not just like photos, but it, it's like a reason. There's a reason why I picked a photo and I'm seeing that reminder at the same time. So for example, I have it in columns. So the left one is kind of like home space and the middle one is like career, professional, craft, the third one I think was like aura so like that might that's probably gonna be like fashion like you know how are people gonna perceive me or how do I want to even perceive myself um traits attributes I should write that shit down anyways thanks for helping me out with that one you guys um so yeah on the left you can see like living space and you'll see some of the things that I've been thinking about um and I'll talk about a few of them so like from our home, I've been thinking like, oh, I want the vibes of just like continuous warmth. It's like you, you enter this place or when I wake up, it's like, it could be tea or coffee. It could be just the lighting, all that stuff. I just want it to always feel warm and welcoming. I don't want it to be like too wacky or anything like that. An abundance of nourishment. I'm talking like food supplements, like all that shit. We got whole meals going on. I, I just want that to also be an element of the home. Not just like I've noticed when you go on Pinterest or any of these websites, there's a lot, a lot of material, material stuff. You know, if the apartment has big windows, if it has dogs or something, you know, that has a big price tag behind it. I wanted to focus on a lot more of the, the feelings. And that's something that that book, Creative Visualization, has been landing on. You know, how are you feeling when you, when you have that item? What does it feel like? What does it feel like to wake up in that apartment that you've always wanted? You open up the windows, you see the beautiful city, the birds are chirping and just going, just going down that, right? Like taking five minutes and I feel like sometimes we need something to kickstart those ideas. So I went on Pinterest and you can see here, I have certain things that are unique to me, especially within the creative element. And I think one of the things that I wanted to just share with you guys, I'll make this pretty quick, is, you know, as you're thinking through these like creative visualizations, um, as you're starting to look for inspiration, don't, don't get too caught up on like the aesthetics, right? Get more caught up on like, is this me? Is this who I am trying to lean into today or the next few months? Um, because I think there's a lot of things that we look at and we're like, oh, that looks really nice. I would love to do that. And then we just kind of like move on. But it's like, think about like uh, a poster that you look at every day. It's like that poster is cemented in your brain, right? So I'm kind of playing around with like, you want some of these values and things that you're working towards to be cemented in your brain. So when it's like time to think about what do I need to do in the next five minutes or the next 10 minutes, a laser list of things kind of pop up. And then from there, if you have the energy, you can move towards that. 
if you don't have the energy, at least you can rest and then know, okay, once I'm done resting, this is what I'm going to lean into. May that be world-class creative work. May it be figuring out the next item for your creative focus, creative focus setup. Or what's your daily ritual is going to look like. There's so many things and our lives are very similar, but unique. And you're very special. And there's a lot of unique things about yourself. And it would be a disservice for you to just fade away into whatever is normal. So take some time if you can, for like 10 minutes or something, and just start dropping images. You can build this throughout the week. Just think through when you see something that is uniquely interesting to you, post it. And then maybe think about, oh, why did I like that? Oh yeah, because I love the way this tea kettle shows continuous warmth in this house. <sighs> so, it's all up to you now. Um, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for all the support. I do hope to make more just videos in general. I don't really want to get too hung up on like, oh, the niche or I need to make sure we're dropping this content or that content. I just like to think of these things as like you and I hanging out. And uh, hopefully there's something you can always take from it. So thank you again. And I'll see ya. Eight, um, something where you guys can kind of get started instead of you know going through Figma and setting up the layout, I want to set the layout for you. So I went ahead and put something together in Canva. Um, and it's super easy to navigate. Let me show you how to do some of the essential things. So the first thing would be, oh, okay, like we have these images. What if you want to bring new images on here? Super easy. So let's say, for example, um, I open up Pinterest here, right? And you have like this outfit, copy it over here. And you want to bring it in, you just paste it and the way it works, okay, it's gonna drop in here, then you drag, and then I'll just fill into one of the frames. It's as easy as that, and you just keep doing that, and everything that you drag, like copy and paste in will show in your uploads. I don't know if these will all transfer, but that's it. Now, if you wanna change the text, that's the second thing. You just double click, and you can type whatever. If you wanna get rid of it, for example, for this one, backspace, easy. Third thing, okay, how do I make this? I can't help you with your operating system browser, but how do you export it? You click share, download, file type. You're gonna go down and click JPEG. And then you click download. And there you go, you have your mood board. So feel free to keep tapping in on this. You can leave a comment if you want, that'd be kind of funny. Um, so thank you.